What is going on and welcome back to another Banging Lonnie's Lizards video. Now in today's video we have something absolutely crazy in store. You see this little room that I'm standing in right now? Not the biggest room in the world. But if I'm, if I'm in here in any videos, just know we'll be talking geckos. I'm turning this whole room into a gecko room. It's gonna be crazy, everybody. These floors look pretty yucky. I would say they look pretty yucky. The walls, not too yucky, but we're gonna be changing everything around. This place is going to be crazy, and I can reassure you guys that 100%. So stick around, watch this video, hopefully you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in just a little bit. I'm a contractor for the day. Let's get right into this, everybody. So what we're doing right now is we're clearing out the storage room. It was an absolute disaster. You guys should have seen it just a little bit before I actually started clearing a lot of the stuff out. But anyways, this is gonna be such a banger. We're gonna be turning this room into the whole reptile room. You guys are just gonna have to stick around and wait to see that. I'm sorry. That's what you have to do. So the time has come, and I can tell you guys, I am no Bob the Builder out here, so. So this paint drip off because we cannot ruin our floors with our plans that we have for that. So I'm gonna smack daddy this thing right on the wall. Look at how white that is. This is gonna look so, so fire. I think I might be using the wrong roller to be honest. Actually not, maybe not. Really quick before we get into all that painting, I just want to give you an update on where is my big boy. Do not go in there. No, 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 um, let's put him right back into this grass. Wow, that was scary. Okay. So here's an update on the big boy. Hi, big boy. His favorite spot is to hang out right behind the chameleon mansions. Watch, he might just go ahead and lay down right there. That's his spot. That right there is definitely his spot. We're going to build him a nice cage. He's just been free roaming for the most part. I don't let him sleep outside because of the predators, of course. But he's just been staying in my shower. So if only you guys can imagine what my shower probably looks like. Leaving me little Hershey's kisses all over the place. Don't go into that paint again. He's trying to go right back into that room where we're painting. We do not want that because then he's going to leave his little paws. No. He's going to leave his little white paws everywhere. So we don't want that at all. But anyways, let's get right back into this. Look at how bright and white that wall is. That is going to be crazy. So once you guys see what we're gonna do with these ugly floors, just wait on it. Just wait on it, just wait on it. I can't wait for all you guys to see that. This is a dream come true. Finally, I'm gonna have a little bit of a gecko room. You're gonna see the gecko rack. Cages on cages on cages. Geckos on geckos on geckos. I feel like I have fans now, so it's awesome. The heartfelt comments that you guys have been commenting on my posts. Doesn't get much better than that. And I love you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Stick around and you guys are just gonna see the whole process. The whole process of this. Oh got it. Wrong on here. This is a handyman at work. Let's paint, 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 paint. Do not mind the mess behind me. Anyways, it's nice to see you guys today. Let me give you guys a little update on what we have done all night. Sorry, I did have to put the camera down because we lost sunlight and the lighting in here was just not doing it for us. 
But anyways, it is super duper white. I mean, as you guys can see, look at how bright and nice white that is. Take a look. And I'm no Bob, I'm no Bob Ross either, everybody, so. That is very nice painting, I would have to say. We gotta touch up some of these corners. We still have to do the roof. But it is certainly coming along nice in here. Just wait until you guys see what we're gonna be doing on these floors. But we have just finally finished. Ooh, whoa. I mean, I turned that light on and I'm literally blinded. I'm sweaty right now, so just look at how bright and white. We still gotta do the floors. We're probably gonna get to that tomorrow. Look, my face is all, is all flustered right now. We have been working our behinds off. That is no joke. Doing this for you guys. Really, I cannot wait for everybody to see what the final, final result is gonna be. Like I said, for not being Bob Ross, I think we killed it in here. Me and my buddy Jacob. Just look at how crazy bright. You know, we got a little, a stupid little hole. Stupid hole. Stupid hole right there, so. We're gonna try to, you know, yeah. Whatever. Yep, fall off the wall, that's what I thought. Anyways, we're gonna pick this camera tomorrow. This has been like a three day project. We're gonna be laying that epoxy on the ground. It is officially day three of redoing the gecko room, everybody. We are about to get rolling. We are about to lay this epoxy clean on the floor. Wait until you guys see this. We're going black in Cactus Valley green. Tar black, I should say. We are on the third day of this amazing project. I've got my roller. You know, we're about to lay this black first. Let's get this black epoxy laid out on the floor. I've never personally done this. Not a day in my life, all right? Not a contractor, but these last three days, let me tell you. Bob the Builder, I need a hard hat with Lonnie's Lizards imprinted on it. Most deaf. So, I'm honestly just, I'm honestly just gonna eye this out. I'm just gonna pour some of this on the ground and see where it takes me, I mean. Look at that. All right, so now we're gonna move this. You guys can already see a hint of what it's gonna look like in here. I just got up way too fast. <laughs> All right, everybody, this is the moment of truth. Following it with another little pour right now. So far, as you guys can see, I think this is gonna be absolutely freaking sick, dude. Look at that, look at how black the floor is. Even this out back here though. Now wait until we put the green splatters, the swirls in here. I can only imagine what it's going to look like. I can't exactly tell you guys what it's going to look like. We'll just have to see and wait. Let's just say we are getting down and dirty. I mean, I'm full of paint all over, well, epoxy I'm full of. So that is that for day three. Make sure you stick around for day four. 
I don't even know what we got planned for day four just yet. I think we're gonna be putting up the baseboards. What is up everybody? So it has been about a week and a half since we have worked on that awesome, awesome gecko room. We're about to show you guys how the construction side of that whole entire room, that whole process I was filming has come out for you guys. So we are about to get right into that. But we have finally got the last finishing touches for the room. Let's roll it right back to the reptile convention from last week. So here we are, we are back at the reptile event. Now I'm sure you guys have all heard me talk about this brand new gecko room that I'm building. Today I'm here, I'm with Paul, I'm with my buddy Luke. We are getting the final finishing touches for this room. Now you guys need to see these enclosures. They are absolutely insane. Take a look, 24 brand new Crusty Gecko cages. Now each and every single one of these cages is gonna have a little LED light strip in there and it is going to be absolutely awesome. So you guys are gonna just have to wait until we get home and set those up. I'm sure Paul's gonna be there with me setting them up and look at that new little axolotl figure he got. I got an axolotl figure. There you go. <laughs> it swims. Came with your cages, thanks to you. Yeah, of course. Man. <laughs> but anyways, you guys are gonna have to wait to see us set those up when we get back to the house. So stick around. He's up. So, so right here we have our tanks going in. There we go. And we do not have enough room to fit all six. So we gotta come back. Back another 45 minutes. Yep, to pick, pick up, up the uh, next two. Yeah, right, it's just two left. Yeah, yeah right. But yeah. there they are. That's it. Luke's gonna Thank sit on you, my Luke. Lap. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait. We're having a nice Luke. little ride home. <laughs> now these cages, they already come with a little LED strip in there, so. You guys are just gonna have to wait until we set them up so you can actually get a better look at what I'm trying to explain. Just absolutely awesome. So I'll see you guys when we are home setting these up. So the first gecko room, gecko cage is in. Now if I'm gonna be putting geckos in the bottom over here, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have a bad back when I'm older. I mean, it still looks so awesome. I'm not quite currently at uh, 24 geckos yet, so. There it is. Wow. After a long, hard process, I'm sweating right now. I moved all 24 of these cages all by myself. Six rows. I mean, we just got the last row in. I can't even explain to you guys how awesome these cages really look. Now what we need to do, we need to go get an extension cord. I mean, wow. You know what? Take a look at that. Now, unfortunately, one of the connections from the A-way splitters is not working for this cage, so I'm gonna have to get a new one for that. But I mean, holy smokes, everybody. We are getting ready to set up each and every single one of these cages, and then we're gonna finally put the little geckos inside of their new homes. Hopefully they really like it, because I mean, I absolutely love these cages. So we're gonna do that really quick. I'm just gonna row all these up with some paper towels on the ground. I don't really like to use substrate, but I've been thinking about maybe going a little bioactive with these cages where I'd put, you know, some substrate, some, some plants. We could even put some isopods in there. We can collect little cool isopods, like they've got orange ones, blue ones. It's gonna be awesome. This is gonna be an ongoing project. We currently don't have as many crested geckos to fill all 24 of these cages, so you guys are gonna have to stick around and make sure you guys smash that notification button so you can see if we ever get any new crested geckos because we definitely gotta fill each and every single one of these cages, am I wrong? So I've got most of these cages lined up with the paper towels. Now my go-to thing for these crusty geckos is you see these little pool noodle looking things? So I cut them and I put them diagonally across the cages. So it acts as kind of like, um, like a tree branch, I would say they stick to them very, very well. So now I'm gonna do that for the rest of these and then I'll pick the camera right back up. So here we are. We've got most of the cages set up for right now. We're gonna go grab some fake plants, some artificial plants just to throw into the cages, just to spice them up just a little bit. There we have it. Look at all of these awesome little cages. 
Now, I am gonna do all these cages exactly the same, but I ran out of some of this little piping, whatever pool noodle things you guys wanna call them, but here we have it. Here we are, everybody, the moment that we have all been waiting for. We've got our first gecko going in. Now this is a proven cappuccino from Gecko State of Mind. Let's go right over here. There you go, little buddy. Right into his leaves. This is our second gecko going into the enclosures. This is our male Lily White. We don't really have a name for him, but I like the name Marshmallow. But I mean, look at how awesome that little fella is. Look at that's your new cage. There you go, buddy. I mean, he is so bright. Wow. Third gecko going in. This is another Lily White. This one, oh, little jumper, huh? This one's a female. I think we're gonna put her into this one. Come on, you go. This is the fourth dude going in a male track. So I think we might, let's put him over here in this one. Here we go, buddy. He is the craziest crusty gecko that I own. All he does is jump. This is our fifth little gecko. Don't worry, that's just moss, you guys. This is our fifth little gecko going in there, little dude. Now this is a 100% heterozygous, exanthic, male crested gecko. He's gonna jump right up into this cage. There you go, little buddy. Now I can't tell if this is her trying to tell me she loves it or if she hates it. <laughs> That's not nice. Look how angry. They just got the cutest little derpiest faces. Now I got my favorite girl going in right now. This is a, don't jump, this is a possible cappuccino, so still got to prove her out. She's going to go right in here. Come on. There you go, girl. Right next to her boyfriend, actually. So we got this whole top row filled out. So now I added a really quick little lay bin back there. I just get a regular container, throw some sphagnum moss mixed with a little bit of cocoa fiber. That's for her because I do suspect of her having some duds inside of her which are just infertile eggs. So I'm gonna do that for her and for this beautiful girl over here. And they should be laying some eggs soon so stick around to see that video everybody. And here we're going with a possible cappuccino male. He's got a lot of spots, so he'd be considered a lower end cappuccino, but I still love him. Look at those spots. I think they're pretty cool looking. Now I did rescue him, so he does have a little bit of a floppy tail syndrome. You see how he's got a little bit of an indent right there. And there he's picking his home himself. I mean, look at how awesome his belly is. Get in there. Now to finish this row off, we've got a little phantom lily white. And here we have a very little, oh, picking his home, possible cappuccino. Very nice, high end if so, but I'm more than sure it is a cappuccino because I've seen the dad before. So there you go, little buddy. Enjoy. I love his, his little like porthole kind of white blotches on the sides. He is going to be a very, very smoking. Crush the gecko. I think that is all we're gonna do for today. So stick around everybody. Make sure you keep in touch. Make sure you smash those notification buttons so you guys can see what else we will do inside of this room. But I mean, take a look at that behind me. Just awesome everybody. So make sure you guys stick around. Make sure you guys tap in for next week's video. Hopefully we're going to be going to get Paul Kafaro a brand new gift for his farm. 
And he's had this gift in the past, but unfortunately we don't know what happened to him. So if you guys can use your brains and think about what we may be getting him, comment that down below. Anyways, you guys, Lonnie's Lizard is out of here. So please tune in to next week's awesome video. Peace out, everybody.